Hey, good morning. Well, afternoon, evening, whatever it is, whatever time it is you're watching this, if you're ever watching it. <laughs> uh, that's funny. So, hey, I had such an awesome day yesterday. It was really bizarre. I mean, I had, I had two really great days, actually. So I kind of forced Uncle Kyle to come out here. And uh, I want to give a shout out right now to Misty Cox. Misty, Uncle Kyle's mom. She's participated in the Paris Love Tribe. That's what we call our family. For years. Years. She has donated her time to us. She's always been kind to us. A uh, couple Christmases ago, surprise, surprise, she sends us a, 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 some gift cards. Was able to give us a Christmas, you know, from me anyway. Grammy always takes care of those girls, but you know, I don't always have very much money. And in this Christmas particular one, these gift cards that she sent were just... <laughs> so Misty, thank you. And then, unbeknownst to me, I have no idea, I have no idea this is coming. <clears throat> I know how pretty it is out here. I know how much fun I'm having out here. And I know how much Uncle Kyle would enjoy it out here. So I'm forcing him out here. So pretty much at all costs, I'm gonna go get him. I don't care how much it's gonna cost, how much time it takes me to go pick him up. I didn't care. It was a little bit of a concern, but not, you know, I was, I was gonna do it no matter what. So that's what I mean by I didn't care. So <clears throat> when I pick up Uncle Kyle, he says, oh, by the way, here's, $60 to pay for the gas for, you know, taking me. What? <laughs> Are you serious? He goes, yeah, I'm serious, man. I'm serious. Here's 60 bucks right here. This is from my mom to you for gas. And I said, wow, that's <laughs> okay. Uh, it was plenty of money for gas. In fact, I, I, I now have uh, probably a quarter of a tank more than I started with. So thank you so much. Then it gets better, but wait, there's more. If you stick around and listen to more of the story, there's more. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, so uh, so Misty, thanks again for all of that. And then Uncle Kyle played it perfect. It was like the ace in the whole thing. Whoa, I'm getting all excited, driving a little too fast. So um, he goes, oh, and here's $20 for food. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to say other than, I, I mean, all I can say is, I am grateful, appreciative, and uh, thankful. You're awesome for participating. I mean, it, I, like, like, like money can't come. There's never a time that money can't come that it's not the perfect time. But this was truly the perfect time. <laughs> uh, it's pretty awesome. Thank you so much. All right. So the two days that I had. I wanna look at you when I say that. I'm just driving around the corner. In case you're watching this, Uncle Kyle, I'm sure is gonna show you. Thank you, Misty, so much. Paris Love Tribe loves you. You're amazing. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> Pick up Kyle, we get out here. Uh, we're a little too tired, really, to go hiking. It's a little too late, a little too hot, all that, you know? So he brings uh, his amp and his bass, and I have my inverter all set up, and we're jamming, we're playing. Some people stop by, we start talking. <clears throat> Excuse me, I know that's awful, but man, it's just my sleep apnea just dries everything out, and then later on it's all yucky, so that's, too much. that's TMI, I know, TMI, sorry. So, a few days back, when I was inviting Uncle Kyle out, this girl stopped by, was walking, and we sp sparked up a conversation. It was really a great conversation. She was really fun. And uh, Uncle Kyle called in the middle of our conversation. And because we're both out of practice in, in like socializing, for me, it's different reasons. I mean, for different reasons, but uh, I've just been so involved in uh, being a daddy and being out in the middle of Hereford, Arizona, knowing nobody. Uh, uh, along with COVID, <laughs> uh, along with my picky ass about who I spend my time with, there's hardly anybody, you know, I haven't socialized much uh, outside of my little tiny circle. So when the phone rang, I think we, she felt 
that maybe uh, I think she she actually shared this with me that maybe that she was getting a little over chatty. She wasn't, not at all. I thought I was being over chatty. Probably was because it happens a lot. <laughs> but anyways, well, I, I I rode by her camp and um, she wasn't there. There. Their neighbors said, hey, uh, which, what's your name? I said, oh, this is Jeff. She's, and she goes, okay, we'll just tell her that you stopped by. And I said, okay, we'll let her know that we're going to be making music down by the camp. She, and they said, okay. Well, later she showed up, started chatting. And then she left, of course. And uh, she said, maybe I'll be back. And you know me, people that know me, I'm like, maybe? What are you talking about? Maybe. <laughs> Fuck that. What's this? The world's, the whole, all of life is set to, de the, the whole, all of life's default is already set to maybe. The fuck is maybe? I swear to God, I don't, I'm, this is not directed at you, Krista. You are awesome. We had, Uncle Kyle and I had so much fun talking with you. You are sweet. That was great. So fun. All right. So, um, yeah, that was great. We talked to like, one o'clock in the morning I was the loudest I've ever been at a campground as an adult <laughs> I woke up the next day you know the people next to us the kids next to us they didn't mind but neither one of the people next to us they didn't mind I want that clear but the one that I was concerned about bothering was the one the, the older couple the veterinarian Anyway, so uh, they get up and they sit down and I'm like, hey guys, good morning. How are you? Can I offer a peace offering for being a jackass last night? <laughs> and he says, uh, you know what? <sighs> it's all good. He says, I was once you. You're just having fun. It's all good. You weren't that bad. And I said, okay, awesome. Thank you so much. But do you guys drink beers or anything? Maybe I'm going to pick you up a six-pack or something. And he's like, dude, you don't have to worry about it. We got plenty of beer. It's all good. I'm like, okay. <clears throat> I'm not sure what word people like. <clears throat> For example, I'm not sure if you like blessed, fortunate, lucky. You know, dude, I guess it depends. I don't know. It's, I think it's like my mom would not let me say fortunate or lucky. She couldn't, she couldn't translate fortunate and lucky as blessed. She just couldn't do it. Her, like, I mean, she just, semantics, right? Semantics. Like, let's, let's focus on the definition of words instead of the fucking word. <laughs> I think that would solve a lot of problems. <laughs> if we could agree on the definitions of thing and then name it later, that's really what's important. So... So we did a little uh, mushrooms, like not a little, I don't know what a micro dose is, but it, what I ate was uh, like a big fat pinch, like you would uh, like chewing tobacco. It was super mild, like it, it took about 40 minutes for me to even feel it. It lasted for about an hour, it was really cool. But it, fuck, <laughs> I drank a lot, I drank a lot last night. I got, I got buzzed, I, I got buzzed on alcohol. What the hell? I woke up and I didn't know what I was feeling. I was like, what's wrong with me, dude? Kyle, are you are you okay, dude? How do you feel, man? He's like, Tell me what, how do you feel? He's like, oh, bro, you're just hungover. I'm like, fuck, it's been 12, 15 years maybe since I've been hungover. Holy fuck. Ugh, good friendly reminder. Anyway. So we woke up with the plan of going on the lake early. You know, I bought a kayak. 97 bucks for the K2. Sweet. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm going in town to get a better paddle. I'm too big, you know, I'm 6'8", 300, 300 pounds, and um, this little tiny paddle, I was soaking well, a lot of water in my kayak when I got back. Super short, and I was grinding, anyway, whatever, getting a new paddle. Which I wouldn't be able to do without the stimulus check. So the stimulus check is stimulating the economy. I'm buying something that I otherwise would not buy two things a kayak never could afford a kayak ever the 97 bucks extra that goes to the kids i don't ever have anything extra for me not, rarely let's not say never rarely so this is you know we're stimulating the economy i'm um the last 600 dollars stimulation stim stimulus check that put new tires on my car see i put new uh, actually 
what I did is I put $800 worth of work into the car, 600 on the tires, and then I did alignment, I did uh, oil change, I did tune-up, I did, uh, you know, whatever. It came up to 800 bucks or so that I never would have spent. <laughs> Stimulus checks work. Who knew? <laughs> anyway. So, we go on the fucking beat. We go to the, we go, we're exhausted. That's where I'm at, sorry. The mushrooms, oh, dude, they wiped me out. Man, I woke up in the morning, I was, whoa. And then I'm like, wait a minute, it's, it's more like probably the alcohol that wiped me out. So it took me till like two, three in the afternoon to two o'clock in the afternoon, 1.30. I'm, same with Kyle, he was all dragging too. And uh, we're, we were just gonna sit there and not get on the lake. I was like, hey bro, let's go, I tell you what, let's get in the car and uh, drive down to the lake. Let's just be tired at the lake and see what we do. He goes, okay. <laughs> Well, sure as shit, we went right in that damn water. It was so awesome. This is the only third time I've been on a kayak. It was great. I underinflated it because I was afraid to pop the seams. So I had a little crease in it, you know, like a little, my ass was sitting in the water, so I was dragging, dragging ass. <laughs> Literally, dragging ass. So I was dragging ass in the water, bro. So it was hard. I, oh, I got a hell of a workout. Oof. My traps are so sore. Ah, uh, yes. We got out in the water, we smoked a bowl. I mean, we got way out, you know, right in the middle of the lake. Sat there, smoked a bowl, looking at the cliffs. So, so amazing, so fun. It just, I mean, the life. It's just the life. Anyway. Till the next time. Peace.